investment decisions, constant change and challenge. Capitalizing on this economic spectrum of decisions is Commodity Research Institute Incorporated, offering professional commodity investment management since 1971. Investors constantly face these questions. Are you satisfied with your total investment results? Do your investments offer protection during times of inflation and deflation? Do they provide adequate return in both good and bad economic periods? And are you able to devote full time to your investments? A no answer to any of these questions is a sound reason to consider investing in a professionally managed investment in the commodity futures markets. When your total investment capital is viewed as a pyramid, the foundation investments are generally considered to be your home, insurance, savings, social security, and pension plans. With these foundation investments, you normally expect a low reward and a corresponding low risk. At the next level of the pyramid are growth investments, real estate, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Here you expect moderate reward and moderate risk. The top of the pyramid consists of your speculative investments and is usually 10 to 25 percent of your investment capital. These investments are generally speculative stocks, speculative real estate, oil drilling ventures, and commodity futures. With these investments, you expect a higher reward and a corresponding risk. This pyramid of investments illustrates a well-balanced and diversified portfolio. However, all investment portfolios are subject to the stress of inflation and deflation. During inflation, many investments experience erosion of purchasing power. Traditional investments like municipal bonds, corporate bonds, money market funds, and savings accounts do not usually keep pace with inflation and experience this erosion. As an example, if an investor is in the 30 to 50 percent tax bracket and assuming a 10 percent inflation rate, a return of approximately 20 percent is required just to maintain purchasing power. Consequently, most investors need to have some portion of their investment capital earning over 20 percent to compensate for their investments that are not gaining in purchasing power. With a CRI managed commodity account, that kind of return is possible. Commodity Research Institute is one of the oldest and largest commodity advisors in the world. CRI was incorporated in February 1971 and is a registered commodity trading advisor under the Federal Commodity Futures Trading Commission Act of 1974. The CRI staff of dedicated and knowledgeable professionals have the qualifications and experience needed to operate in this rapidly changing and complicated financial environment. CRI was founded for the purpose of offering investors a fully managed, personalized, and unemotional approach to investing in the commodity futures markets. As a commodity investment advisor, CRI utilizes a unique computerized technical analysis to determine buy and sell orders for their clients in the commodity futures markets. The commodity futures markets are exchange regulated auctions where the buying and selling of commodity futures contracts are executed. The commodities traded are the raw materials of the world, grains, meats, metals, building materials, financial instruments, foreign currencies, and others. And the list of traded commodities expands regularly. Historians tell us that the trading of commodity futures can be traced back to the times of ancient Greece and Rome. Other countries, such as Egypt, China, Arabia, and India, had active commodity markets as early as 1200 BC. And there is evidence that in Europe, Forms of organized forward contracting took place during medieval trade fairs. In 1730, the first known formal market for trading in future delivery contracts for rice was established in Japan. A practical economic necessity led to the establishment in 1848 of a commodity futures market in the United States. 
The first of these organized exchanges, the Chicago Board of Trade, protected both buyer and seller from erratic price swings. Subsequent growth in commodity trading has been phenomenal. Between 1970 and 1980, the number of commodity contracts traded each year increased from 10 million to almost 100 million. The value of these contracts has grown from 100 billion to over 5.3 trillion dollars and is projected to continue to increase. Knowledgeable investors seeking to protect and enhance their investment capital in the face of general economic uncertainty invest a portion of their assets in a managed commodity investment program. A managed commodity account offers investors the potential of high return in both up or inflationary and down or deflationary economic climates. But this high return is only the first of several reasons why a managed commodity account should be part of a full investment program. Other reasons are account liquidity, tax advantages, and daily professional management. Profit potential of a CRI managed commodity account is achieved partially through leverage. To control a full commodity futures contract, only approximately 10% of the contract value is required. As a result, substantial profits can be achieved through relatively small price fluctuations. In downward price markets, or bear markets, commodities are sold short. Selling short allows investors to sell commodity contracts that they do not currently own. As the price falls to a lower level, commodity contracts are then purchased at the lower price to satisfy the commodity obligation previously sold at a higher price. This technique can yield profits in a declining market. Generally, individual investors find it emotionally difficult to sell short. However, a professional advisor with computerized analysis executes necessary short sales automatically and methodically. When prices are increasing, commodity futures are bought long. Buying long means that contracts are purchased at a lower price in anticipation of selling later at a higher price. As an example, examine three years of four commonly traded commodities, sugar, wheat, gold, and the Deutschmark. First, sugar moving from 8 cents to 45 cents per pound is similar to a stock price multiplying about six times. A $3,000 investment during the price increase could yield $35,000. And by selling short, the same $3,000 invested during the price decline could also yield about $35,000. Gold increased in price from $200 to $875 per ounce and then declined to the low 300s. $3,000 could have returned $65,000 during the increase and then by selling short could have returned $50,000 during the decline. Wheat increased from $3.50 to $5.50 per bushel and then declined an equal amount. A $1,000 investment could have yielded $9,000 during the increase and another $9,000 during the decline. The Deutschmark decreased from $0.60 cents to about $0.40. Cents. A $2,000 investment could have returned close to $20,000. Along with each potential for substantial profits, there is a similar potential for loss. To take advantage of these markets, CRI's trading programs select from three alternatives. Long positions in uptrends, short positions in downtrends, and standing aside during trendless periods. CRI's objective is to participate in each major price trend, since significant profits can be achieved by participating in only 40% of any major trend it is not necessary to purchase or sell at the exact high or low to be profitable. Because of the world's long history of inflation, a high return on an investor's portfolio is necessary. Since 1967,